Brahms was really a pianist's pianist. Uh, and I think his late works especially are so meaningful for us as pianists because he wrote them for himself to sit and play at the keyboard. And of course, if they were going to be satisfying to somebody like him, certainly they'd be wonderful for us. I feel like the Opus 118 pieces, the six pieces, are really intended to be played as a set. And there's a number of reasons for that. One is this connection to the Baroque suite. And the Baroque suite always had six movements in it. Uh, it's one of the reasons we have on this disc the Bach B-flat partita. These six movements interacted in a certain way, and I think although Brahms doesn't take literally the ideas from each movement, there are many parallels, and especially there's a sort of a parallel of uh, emotional trajectory. For example, the Baroque suite tends to finish in the jig, the big show-off-y piece, uh, which in the Bach, the case of the Bach, has a lot of hand crossings and flying around. In the case of the Brahms, the last piece is actually not necessarily the most happy, exciting, outwardly virtuosic, but I think it's the most emotionally virtuosic. It's the one that's the deepest, the darkest. a very powerful emotion, even though it's not the flashy virtuosity, it's very much that Brahmsian romantic virtuosity, this kind of all-out, uh, just emotional flourish. The idea behind putting these works together was to get a sense for who inspired Brahms and whom did Brahms inspire.